Let us solve more problems based on volume of cuboid. The question here reads like this. A solid cube of side 12 cm is cut into 8 cubes of equal volume. What will be the side of the new cube? Also, find the ratio between their surface areas. Now, let's assume that the length of the new cube, the length of the side of the new cube be x centimeters. So then, the volume of 8 cubes, each of side x centimeter, should be equal to the volume of the solid cube, 12 centimeters. So that is nothing but volume of 8 cubes of side x centimeters is equal to volume of solid cube of side 12 centimeters. This is each of side. So now that means to say if x is the side of the new cube then x cube is the volume of the new cube. So 8 cubes of the volume x cube should be equal to 12 cube because 12 is the edge of the bigger cube. So now we have x cube equals 12 into 12 into 12 divided by 8. 2 4 times and 2 6 times, 2 2 times, 2 6 times, 2 1 times and 2 6 times. So x cube equals 6 into 6 into 6, 6 cube. So if x cube is 6 cube, x is equal to 6. So therefore, the side of the new cube is 6 centimeters. Now, let us find the ratio between their surface areas. Let the surface area of the solid cube that is 12 centimeter be S1 and let the new surface area be S2. So we have surface area as 6x square as far as the cube is concerned. So 6 into 12 square and for the new one it is 6 into 6 square. So this is nothing but 6 into 12 into 12 divided by 6 into 6 into 6. So 6, 6 gets cancelled. 6, 2 times and 6, 2 times. So it is 4. Here it is 8 cubes. So they have asked us to find the ratio between their surface areas. So 8 is included here. So it will be 4 by 8 which is 1 by 2. The ratio between their surface areas is S1 is to S2 which is 1 is to 2. So the surface area of the newly formed 8 cubes is greater than the surface area of the solid cube of side 12 centimeters. So hence the required ratio is 1 is to 2. Let us solve another problem. So here we have another question which reads like this. A rectangular tank measuring 5 meters into 4.5 meters into 2.1 meter is dug out in the center of the field measuring 13.5 meters into 2.5 meters. The earth dug out is spread evenly over the remaining portion of the field. How much is the level of the field raised? So now we have the measurements of the field given. Now what do we have to do? How do we approach this problem? Now we have the measurement of the field given that is 13.5 meters into 2.5. We can find the area of this field and then we can easily find the volume of the earth that is dug out. We can also find the area of the tank. Now the earth that is dug out is spread over the remaining portion of the field. So now we need to subtract the area of the tank from the area of the field. So we get the remaining portion of the field on which the earth is dug out. Now once we find that area of the remaining portion of the field, we can easily find out how much height is the field raised by dividing the volume of the earth that is dug out by the area of which the earth is spread. Simple. Now let us solve that. Area of the field is 13.5 into 2.5 meters square which is 33.75 meters square. Now volume of the earth dug out equals volume 
of the tank which is nothing but 5 into 4.5 into 2.1 meter cube equals 47.25 meter cube now we found the volume of the tank now the area of the tank would be just length into breadth which is 5 into 4.5 meters square which is 22.5 meters square now we need to find out the area of the earth on which the dug up earth is spread out so that will be 33.75 that is the area of the field subtracting the area of the tank from it so that is 22.5 which is nothing but 11.25 meters square so now we have 11.25 meters square of area to spread out the earth that is dug out so the volume of the earth dug out is 47.25 so by how much will the height of the remaining field be raised is nothing but 47.25 meter cube divided by 11.25 meter square because the volume of the earth dug up is 45.25 meter cube and the area on which this has to be spread out is 11.25 meter square so divide this by this you get 4.2 meters so therefore 4.2 meters is the height by which the remaining field is raised due to the spreading out of the earth that was dug out this ends the problem